This is me. This is us. Awesome angle. <laughs> 7 a.m. Packing the car. Getting ready to go. Got a backpack. A grapefruit. Some kind bars. A Manny fanny pack. <laughs> Guitar. Drone. Put that behind the driver. Water bottles, crackers, yada yada yada. Watch go. So my family was really worried about us going to Mexico because of what they'd heard on the news. But I did my research beforehand and found out that statistically, visitors to Mexico from the United States have actually less risk in Mexico of being victims of violent crime than in uh, their own country. That was me saying goodbye to my brother. I love my family. But I'm excited about the goals that I have in Mexico and the purpose that I feel in pursuing them. The plan is to drive to Houston where I'll sell my car to a friend there and then take a bus to Monterey, uh, which is the third largest metropolitan area in Mexico. So we won't be really diving in right into a border town to start. Uh, so that gives me a little bit of comfort. Now I've seen some beautiful places in this country, but after two years in Chicago and three months in Washington, D.C., it was really nice to see some of the prettier parts of the United States on our way down to Mexico. Got a nice crappy truck stop egg salad sandwich. I had the truck stop egg salad. In my life blood. I like how it was. It was kind of stupid, but it was good. What about what's the one where they go to that last bar and there's like the aliens? At the world time. I never finished it. Really? I like that one. It was good. That bathroom was way worse. Really? First of all, everything's wet in there. Everything's got this layer of wetness on it. Pay attention to these very American style homes because I think we're about to see some contrast south of the border. I don't even care about anything else except that wicked awesome sweet Alabama. Sweet home Alabama sign. And I didn't get it. So don't you hate it when you go in the gas station, you stand behind somebody. Which way is it? Okay. And um, you're like, oh, they don't have that much stuff. It should be fine. And then they and then you get behind them and then they get rung up and then they're like, alright, I'll take the 21, the 34, <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. And the 17, honey. <laughs> And that's all the lottery tickets they're getting. And then after that, they're like, and then I'll have a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> that's the top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you can create a sort of chap, like a sort of chap, where it has like special, special, special things here, here, and here. Use pneumatic pressure. Connor and I are different, but we're family. And our differences complement each other. We have unique perspectives, and we like to share ideas, we argue stubbornly, but we both are enthusiastic to explore the world. But also, with like knuckles, you put like wings on your arms, right? So you just you jump, you get really high, and you like press a button, and then they fling out like wings, and you just go... <laughs> you can fly from the cloud. <laughs> How long have you been Just thinking? imagine how cool that would be. I mean, grasshopper legs would be cool. But if someone was like, hey, do you want the grasshopper legs or do you want to fly? I'd be like, I'm going to fly. Flying would be awesome. You'd go a lot higher and farther. Do <laughs> tricks and stuff. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Okay, I got another idea for you. Oh, girl. 
drinking out of the brown bag like a couple of bums. <laughs> <laughs> Do around here. I thought of inventing an app that's kind of like ABNRB but for rides. Like you can find From people. City to city. Yeah, find people who are leaving long right. distance and uh, like it'll say where they're going. And then anybody who's looking for a ride to that Love place in your area. That would be an awesome app. Yeah. Let's do it. If I was from Louisiana, I'd be like, I'm from Lower Louisiana. Lower Louisiana. Lower Louisiana. Lower Louisiana. Lower Louisiana. I'm from Lasagna. Yeah, that's a perfect first date. Like, nothing says, uh, I like you more than clammy hands, diarrhea, and the jitters. <laughs> that's a great point. That is totally true. Totally true. That's what I thought too, because every time I have coffee, like, I need someone I'm like. Because you seriously do get, you're already nervous because you don't know this person that yeah. you drink a bunch of coffee and you're like, it's like a little cat champion. By the time we got to Texas, we were both feeling physically sick uh, and there was some sort of typhoon in Houston. Oh, oh, thanks. Alright, so this is my friend Houston, Victoria, and she's buying the car, so this is the moment in which we burn the ships. <laughs> There's no turning back now. It's from here, it's a long bus ride to Mexico. We don't have a way back, so yeah, that's, We're screwed. Yeah. So, with that, I light this match in commemoration. <laughs> nah. Here we go. Goodbye, Projet. You were good to us. <laughs> we'll miss you. <laughs> it's been crowded. It's been fast-paced. But we're on the bus. We're here. Stay posted. If you've never crossed the border into Mexico, it's an experience. Here we are over the Rio Grande. About half the time from Houston to Monterey was spent at the border. The difference is stark. The moment you cross the border, you know immediately that you're in a different country. The way the buildings are constructed, the way the streets are managed, everything is very different. Now, kind of thinks he might have pneumonia. Look at him. <laughs> we'll have more for you next week as we arrive in Monterey. Definitely in Mexico. Back at home, back at work now. With crosswinds slowing me down. I don't want to stay and fight. Take three. <laughs> Match together. <laughs> <laughs> you need like a champagne bottle. I know, smash it on.